Today, I am grooming Kitty the Case Hunt. She comes in regularly with Daphne the Schnauzer. If you'd like to see her groom, I pinned a link in the comments below. Such sweet dogs. I will be washing her in our Scouts Honor shampoo and conditioner. Kitty has shave shock and her skin does get irritated easily. This line of shampoos and conditioners are specially designed for dogs with skin and fur issues. She also has hip dysplasia, a disease that's inherited which causes the joints to develop improperly, resulting in arthritis. The condition can start as early as five months old and gradually gets worse as they grow older. Today, we'll be using the belly band to help her stand. I use a tearless shampoo and give her an amazing face massage. Rinsing her thoroughly, making sure to get all that shampoo off of her body and conditioner. and towel drying her off. Then I use our high velocity dryers to dry her. Caissons are a member of the Spitz family closely related to American Eskimos and Pomeranians. They were known in Holland in the 18th century as companions and watchdogs and are descendants of an ancient Arctic dog. They are loving, affectionate and alert easily trainable, having a natural ability as a watchdog. They are usually friendly to people and other animals, and their demands for affection is high. They are a great family pet, always wanting to be near their pack, having the ability to go in and out of the house through a doggy door at any time would be ideal. I use a 30 blade to shave her pads, They are not nuisance barkers. They do give warning when a stranger is near, but readily accept them once they're welcome in their home. You can see how her coat looks very wiry because of the shave shock, which is the damage caused from shaving a double coat. I use a 5 8 wide comb blade on her always using my slicker brush to brush in reverse of the way I'm shaving her as I go for an even cut. I use my metal comb to comb out her fur and even her up using my straight scissors. As I usually do, I am putting the scissoring part in fast motion as the transformation is nice to see, just so any new viewers are aware. I'm going to take her belly band off for a moment and trim the hair underneath it. Then put it back on to finish her up. I comb out and scissor up her back legs, trying to avoid any injuries. You do have to be careful because it is hard for her to stand. Only a little more to go, kitty. She gave me a wink. See, she knows. 
To take care of her tail, I brush it out using my slicker brush, making sure to get all the hair from the tail to the ends of the hair. Even on her tail, you can see the effects of what is called shave shock. It's strange that some dogs, you can trim them over and over and has no effect on them. But for some, even scissoring their fur causes damage. For Kitty, I trim on the same line. It's been trimmed every time. First, I trim the tips of her nails with my clippers. Then I dremel her nails to round them up, just because it's easier to not have to dremel for such a long length of time. I brush out her feet and use my curve shears to trim them up. Last, I'm going to clean up her face by combing the hair away and using my curved scissors to trim from her cheeks up around to her ears. Using my chunkers, I even up the sides of her face, the tops of her ears, and try to blend in her head while she's moving about. and blending it all in. Thanks for watching the adorable kitty. I'll see you next time on the Daily Groom.